comparing distributions. Okay, when we're comparing two sets of data, we need to think about two main things. One is a measure of their average, or what could be termed as a measure of the center. And one is their spread of values, or their range. And that's a measure of consistency, or spread. Okay, here we have an example with some two players that throw five darts and use this to compare the players. So if we look at the values we got from calculating the data, um, very rarely do we use the mode to compare people because it can be misleading and it is very misleading in this case because the mode here for Ian is higher, but that's only because he's, he's managed to get two throws of 40 whereas the rest are a bit you know, lower than that. Whereas Jim's mode is 34. I mean, you could throw all five dots and not have a mode because you wouldn't get two the same. So mode is not a very useful measure. So we tend to use either the median or the mean. And from here, we can compare the average. So the average tells us that the, either the median or the mean, um, Jim is better. on average as his, I'm going to use the mean value, mean is higher. So that's on average he is better because he has a higher mean so he's more con he's going to get a bigger value on average. And then we need to take into account the range or the spread. Now you might have a higher average but if there's not a great difference between two averages to, to, me to medians or means um, and somebody is more consistent, then maybe if they have a slightly less high average, but they're more likely to repeat that over and over again, maybe you would want that as a, as a better thing in a, in a team, um, rather than somebody that does really well or really badly, because they have a big range. Now Ian has a much bigger range. Ian has a much bigger range, so he's, he's inconsistent, and therefore, because his range is 39, um, uh, sorry, Jim is more consistent and in general consistency or consistent things are more useful than people that's there or things that vary wildly it's very rare that you want things to be um, spread, spread out a lot, lot across lots of values so Jim is more consistent because he has a lower range. And that's all you have to do with these questions. You're usually asked to do, compare two things, uh, give two comparisons. One will be the measure of the average and two will be how widely spread they are or the range.